morning, good morning, and welcome back to another Saturday Psalm Things with Mats. Hi, I'm Mats, and today I have a very special guest, a first timer at the table. His name is Cy Fister, and he is the Central Estates Manager for Amici Wines. And today we're going to be tasting the Amici Cabernet and the Olimas. So, Cy, much like the Korean pop star. <laughs> welcome to the table. Thank you. And welcome to Colorado. So tell us about this great lineup. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, it's great to be here in Colorado. Uh, we Amici are a family-owned company uh, celebrating about 30 years, 31 years now, based in Calistoga, where our winery is. And uh, it's great to partner with a family-owned partner like Argonaut as well, 50 plus years. So cheers to Argonaut and all the customers. Thank you for making this happen. Um, and we are, uh, we're delighted to be here. So we're going to talk a little bit about Amici and Olima. Okay. Um, so Amici was a passion project. It actually means friends in Italian. Um, and that's how it started with a passion project, uh, passion that now has developed into a uh, full-time operation employing about 20 of us across multiple continents. Um, so the first one we're actually going to be having here is our Olima Sparkling Brut. It's a uh, Cremant de Loire out of Loire Valley of France. 50% uh, Chardonnay, 50% Chenin Blanc. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's dry, it's crisp, it's effervescent. Tell our viewers and everybody at home what Olima means. Absolutely, so Olima actually means coyote in Miwok Indian. Uh, so uh, the Miwok Indian tribe, uh, ancestral uh, lands are throughout Sonoma Coast. So as an homage, uh, the first vintage of Olima wine was actually a Cabernet back in the 2010s. Okay. Um, we did a, we named it Olima as an homage to them. Uh, it'll be set on every, the back of every domestic bottle as well. But uh, this first one is the Brut 50-50 Charge in a Blanc. And exactly, it's nice and bright, right. citrus notes on this mm -hmm. wine. Um, get that fresh baked bread, almost like a fresh croissant. Brioche, and we have croissants today. We do. In our studio. And I didn't mean to put you on the spot, tell the viewers what this means. But, you know, you being a wealth of knowledge would just only educate and inform everybody out there. I like this because it is, it has a little brioche, a little lemon zest. Uh, it's nicely balanced. It is, certainly. Um, and the entire winemaking team goes over. So mm -hmm. um, we will all go over September to finalize our oh. blends. Uh, we also do a uh, two rosés out of Provence as well. So uh, between uh, Sonoma, Napa, uh, Loire, and Provence, uh, we have our hands full, but uh, everything is driving, especially with Olima, to provide varietally correct wines at an aggressive price point for the customer. Right, and everybody knows Ms. Sheila already has these on sale, so come on down. Now, Sai, tell us about wine number two, this beautiful Chardonnay. Yeah, so we're moving on to Olima Chardonnay, um, a balanced Chardonnay. So mm. this is 2021 vintage, um, nice and bright right. on this one. We want fruit to be the center of this wine. Um, it does see stainless fermentation, but also a little bit of barrel fermentation yeah, I know, as I, well. I noticed that. I'm getting a little honeysuckle and a little hazelnut, some verbena, citrus notes. I like it. I like it. This is the first time everybody that Mats is trying these wines, and I'm glad I'm doing it with somebody so knowledgeable. <laughs> Absolutely. This is, this is beautiful, and a lot has to be said for the for the winemakers. Tony Biaggi is nothing short of genius. Dante West, they come up with these great, great wines that I'm trying for the first time, so a shout out to them. Absolutely. We have a fantastic trio of winemakers at the winery right now. We've got uh, Tony Biaggi, um, all three UC Davis grads, Tony Biaggi, uh, legendary zone right, um, handcrafts every single one of these wines, Dante West as right. well as our winemaker. Um, and then we brought on Matt Courtney as well okay. recently, uh, who's also a winemaker, fantastic wine. And it's really fun to see uh, when this crew gets together uh, around harvest time and how they go about making these wines, not just in Napa, Sonoma, but also in uh, Loire and Provence. Sure. So being with the first two, what would you pair them with? I had lobster rolls last night, that would have been beautiful. Or oysters, I know Colorado's a landlocked state, but <laughs> one of our managers said that we have amazing seafood in Colorado. Absolutely. Um, you know, sparkling, I'm always 
you know, with a celebration. That's what I'm going to pair it with. Oh, so sure. uh, celebrate in, you know, football starting next week for right. the uh, Denver Broncos. Um, but uh, absolutely oysters, um, you know, fresh, uh, whether it's like a bruschetta, fresh appetizers. Um, great for that entry level when you're hosting a party or just uh, having a glass of bubbles on a, on a Tuesday night. Sure. Um, Chardonnay. Um, I love uh, this Chardonnay. Um with uh, seafood and shellfish, so just okay. like you said, whether it might be something with mussels um, or it might be uh, something as easy as shrimp on the grill. Right. Um, I love an Alima Chardonnay with that because it's balanced and it's crisp. It's not gonna weigh you down with oak. Yeah. So wine number three, this beautiful intoxicating Pinot Noir that matches my shirt. <laughs> Go. Yes, uh, Alima Pinot Noir. So Sonoma County, smells like Pinot, tastes like Pinot. It's 100% Pinot. Mm -hmm. um, and this one sees about 10 months in French oak wow. as well. Uh, but we get bright bean cherry notes sure. from this Pinot Noir, um, but it's balanced and still that cherry note and that kind of that forest floor, okay. dark fruit yeah, notes, yeah. Um, dried fruit notes is still the center of this entire, um, entire wine. Yeah. Um, Getting easy. some, not to interrupt you, but no. I will. Uh, black walnut, black tea, some uh, mulberries. Certainly. Um, nice spices in sure, there as yeah. well. Um, but really the fruit is the center of this picture. Um, and it comes from these great vineyards that we have uh, mm -hmm. throughout Russian River and the rest of Sonoma County that gets these, the, the great high heat during the day yeah. and really nice cool temperatures in the evening and the morning. Yeah, it's beautiful. The, the nose is just white pepper and black raspberries. Like you said, bang cherries. It's very, mm -hmm. it's not fruit forward, but it jumps out at you. Certainly. I like it. And a fantastic value. Sure. Um, you know, Pinot Noir, we want to, Sheila's done a fantastic job. We're going to be right around $20 mm -hmm. on this one, mm -hmm. but a fantastic value at $20 uh -huh. for you. So a Monday through Thursday and even right. elegant enough for that Friday, Saturday or special occasion. And you could definitely pair it with a bigger steak other than flank steak or skirt mm -hmm. steak, something with meat and substance. Like Certainly. Ribeye and porterhouse and Kansas City strips. So Let's side, go to the steakhouse. I know. Our last wine of the day, these always go by so quickly. <laughs> it's the Amici Cabernet. Certainly. Uh, what we're known for, so the inaugural vintage for us was 1992 uh, for Amici, and we did a Napa Cabernet as well. Uh, this one is our 2021 Napa Cab. 82% okay. um, Cabernet Sauvignon, 7% Merlot, 7% Cab Franc, and then 4% Petit Bordeaux on Okay, this. so the Bordeaux varietals. Absolutely. Yeah. Bordeaux varietals to enhance the wine okay. uh, and really elevate this. So it's got it's got great boldness, some nice acidity to it. Wow. Um, but also a fantastically balanced Napa cap. This is chewy. It's, it's big. It's unctuous. I'm getting coffee notes and uh, dark chocolate cocoa uh, huckleberries. Certainly. Wow. It is that dark forest floor notes you're getting yeah. there. So those dried blackberries, those dried raspberries, um, you know, you're getting, we do about 16 months in French oak on this wine. Okay. Um, so it is structured, it is balanced, but it's a very, you still get the fruit at the right. center of this wine. And it's through. not terribly tannic. No, no. Uh, we want to try to find balance in every yeah. single wine. And I think we found it and achieved it with this one. It's very approachable. And uh, the great thing too with all of our wines, you know, as the customer, um, every single Lima and Amici has a 90 plus point score from wow. multiple different critics. Wow. So uh, it does help to uh, have that little confidence boost to where, um, whether what you're purchasing for friends or family or just yourself at yeah. home, um, you know, you do have that backing. It is so nice. And you could definitely do even grilled chicken with this mm -hmm. or swordfish, something with substance to it other than meat because I know a lot of our viewers out there are not big meat eaters and that's okay because we have options it's 2023 just like there's so much wine out there on the market and these are four great options that I just discovered today and I hope everybody else in TV land does the same so Sai thank you for visiting you. Colorado and for being part of Argonaut, and just to let everybody know, our first, well, in-store tasting done with Cami, one of our good wedding planners, tie the knot with Argonaut, will be on September 9th. So we'll be discussing wines that day, and then you can come down and actually taste them for free. Just bring your ID. So Sai, <laughs> thank you again thank for you. joining me at Argonaut, and everybody, Happy summer. Come on down and we will see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.